Uh, yes, we are going to take a look at the uh, peristaltic pump here at PowerWise. This happens to be uh, an electric uh, gearbox driven. And in the front here we have the pump head with the cover. And we're going to learn how to insert the tubing. Uh, what we do here is we undo the knob, lift up the, the pump cover here. Then we have the two roller races here. Uh, where the tubing goes in here and gets squeezed uh, bringing the liquid out of the bucket and up to the press. What we use here, we sell this in quarts and in gallons, it's a, it's a tube lubrication. And we just take and put some in an old mustard bottle like this here and we'll take and we'll lubricate those rollers. Uh, sometimes we'll take a brush and paint brush a uh, utility brush and just kind of swab it around on those rollers. And don't be afraid to be very liberal with those. Uh, good lubrication will ensure uh, that the tubing will last much longer. And you want to take uh, the tube from the bottom here and just insert it like so. And then we're just going to kind of work it around here as we move the roller carrier around. Before I put it all the way in, I'm going to put some lubrication on, on the tubing as well. We just kind of push that in until it's secure. And then we can close our cover. By the way, you want to make sure your unit is completely shut down before you were to do this step. We'll insert the intake part of the tubing. This is where the liquid is pulled up to the pump head. And the top part is the discharge. And we're ready to turn that on. This is a fixed speed pump. This runs at one speed, but we also have pumps to work with an inverter. And you can control the speed faster or slower. You can see how the rollers are massaging the tubing. And we have our flow. Just like so. While well, that's running, there's one other step. These are hose grippers. Once you put those on, that'll lock the tubing in place. Snap those on, and just this portion of the tube will remain in the pump head. It's actually a step that should be done prior to turning it on, and uh, that's about it. 